The last thing you need to do in order to complete your house now that your roof is completed is to add your siding or brick or whatever it is you want the outside of your house to look like. Um, do, you, do you want it to be a certain color? Okay, now's your opportunity to do those things. So what you want to do is, is you want to look at these patterns you have available to you which are on this square right here it's called the fill pattern and they give you a lot of choices um, right now there's no color because we haven't added color to any of these yet um, for example here is a horizontal brick pattern that they give you here's a horizontal siding pattern for vinyl siding here is a vertical siding pattern what they do not give you is a vertical brick pattern so I was saying they do not have the, the vertical brick pattern available to you so therefore you have to make your own vertical brick pattern and the way we do that is by changing another one of the patterns that is available to us so for example if I want to use the brick pattern I want to select the front of the house here and I want to go to the patterns and I want to select the horizontal brick pattern therefore the bricks fill in the front of the house I can also select the back of the house and use the same pattern because when the house gets folded up both the front and back, the bricks are going to be facing the right direction. However, if I were to put this pattern on the sides of the house, when we fold it up, those bricks would then be in the vertical direction, and that's not the way bricks are laid. So what we want to do is we want to make a new brick pattern. So the first thing I want to do is show you how to get to the patterns. And you go to Preferences, Edit Patterns. Now I'm just going to show you this pattern to show you what it looks like. This is the horizontal brick pattern. And this is the way that the program lays out the patterns. It has all these squares and certain ones are filled in with certain colors. So this is where you can change colors of your patterns and add color to it. Right now everything's in black and white in this, in this pattern um, selections. But the important thing I want you to see is which ones are filled in. You have three spaces empty here. Yeah, for here. So this has to be rotated 90 degrees in order to get the vertical brick pattern. But I can't change this one because then I'll be changing the pattern that has the horizontal and I need that for the front and back. So what I want to do is I want to go to edit patterns and pick something that I know I'm not going to be using. Okay, so I'll just pick this one next to the horizontal. And the first thing I want to do is just click on all the dark ones and just delete them. Get rid of it. Start with a start with a clean slate here. And what I want to do is I want to remake that pattern so that it's rotated 90 degrees. So there's a line all the way to the left. There's three empty in the middle. Go all the way back up. Go three down, and then fill that in. And here's a little sample of what it looks like. Click OK. Now I can select, I can actually select both sides at once by holding down the Shift key. And then I can go to my palette here and notice that the new pattern is right here, available to me. I can fill that in. Now there's one other thing. These triangles were never actually made with a solid shape. They were made by using lines, and then we snipped them off. So in order to fill that in, it has to be a solid shape. So we basically have to use this polygon tool in our toolbar over here, and we have to trace this, the same tool we used for our tabs. If we start here in the corner, and we just basically trace over this triangle, double-clicking at the very end, that allows us to now fill that in with the vertical pattern. Notice the window disappeared. If 
I go to arrange, move back one, here's what I'll do, arrow tool, click where the window was, you'll notice the handles still light up, arrange, bring to front, and that'll bring the window to the front. I want to do the same thing on the other side, using the polygon tool there, trace over the triangle, Go to my patterns, fill it in, selection tool, click that window back over here, arrange and bring it to the front. There you are. The roof should be given a pattern that somewhat resembles roof shingles. And there are a couple in here that already do that for us. Um, I personally like this one for roof shingles. It gives it that nice textured look. I usually don't have to change any colors on that. Now, as far as the house colors go, the, uh, the place to change the colors is preferences, edit patterns. So if I go to this pattern and I decide, okay, the areas that are now in black represent the grout for the bricks. And the grout is that area in between the two bricks. And then the white area represents the actual color of the stone. So if I want to give my house that earth tone look, I might want to go with something like a brownish or a really deep orange color. So I might choose this light brown right here, the one all the way to the right. And it's important I remember which one I use because I have to do the same thing for the vertical pad. So I'm going to click on that color. And I'm going to fill in all of the areas that are in white. Okay. And then the grout, I'll say I'll use the third one over on the gray scale here. And then I'll go over all of these colors. Click OK. And you'll notice that the house changed to the colors that I've selected. I want to do the same thing for the vertical pattern now. Click on the same two colors, edit it the same exact way, and there you are. At this time, I would definitely want to save my work, file, save as, add a digit, make sure you're in the right place, and hit save. Now that you've completed the house, you've completed the siding, the stone, the brick, whatever it is you chose to put on the house, You've gone through the process of building. Therefore, building a garage is going to be the same procedure. You're going to start with the floor size of your garage. You're going to place foundation all the way around the garage floor. You're going to build your walls on top of the foundation. Then you're going to put your tabs on and measure the peaks so that you can calculate the size of your roof. It's a good idea to match the color of the garage to the color of the house. So that when you glue them together and make it an attached garage, it all meshes and looks nice. If you need to refer back to the instructions as far as calculating your roof size for the garage, please do so. One last tip. When constructing the garage, please understand that the garage door sits inside the foundation wall. You do not place the garage door on top of the foundation because then you would have to drive over two feet of concrete in order to get into your garage. The garage door can be found at Mill Depot. Good luck. Have fun.